the Department of Public Works and Highways recently conferred accreditation to the Provincial Engineering Office Cebu Testing Center to examine the quality of materials used by contractors for government infrastructure projects. Provincial Engineer Hector Hamora on Wednesday said that the facility is among the first government material testing center in Central Visayas with machinery that can test soil quality, hollow blocks, reinforced steel bars, concretes, fine aggregates, and other infrastructure-related supplies. The accreditation was granted last March 2018 by the Bureau of Research and Standards of the DPWH in Quezon City, Manila. Among the services offered by the PEO, Cebu Testing Center include tests on soil and soil aggregates such as grading, plastic, and liquid limit, specific gravity, compaction, and California bearing ratio. Engineer Aniele Sayadi Alcoseba, PEO Cebu Testing Center head, said they can also conduct examination on concrete which measures its compressive and flexural strength, slump test of fresh concrete, coring for thickness, and strength determination of Portland cement concrete pavement. She added that the office can also check the strength of reinforced steel bars that measure from 10, 12, 16 up to 30 millimeters. Akoseva said that their office is mandated that all materials incorporated in a certain project should pass standard specification. Winning contractors are invited for pre-construction conference that includes mandatory quality tests for all its materials, she said. Akoseva explained that in each project, the PEO always encourages contractors to enroll in advanced testing of materials since each quality test has a specific period of time. Aside from undertaking test works for infrastructure supplies intended for capital or local government unit projects. Alcoseba said the office also accepts testing works from private clients with corresponding fees. Samples that fail the test are given 7 to 28 days to pass the examination. Otherwise, they would have to declare it for remove and replace or RR, Alcoseba said. The accreditation of the PEO testing center will support the capital's infrastructure projects, which is a priority of Governor Hilario P. Davide III, as specified in his six key development agenda. 49 AAA Renaissance Cebuana hopefuls battled it out in the Cebuana Quiz B Challenge held at SM City Cebu Trade Hall last June 23. The candidates expressed their views in women empowerment and other social issues. The Quiz Bowl was the second elimination round of the search for the first AAA Renaissance Cebuana following the Cebuana Sports Marathon last June 9. The Quiz Bowl was divided in two sets, a multiple choice set which covers arts and culture, tourism, logic, business, information and technology, and science and math. The second set were situational questions covering issues on environment, women and gender, disaster risk management and resiliency, Cebu province, and tourism. For acting Governor Agnes A. Mapale, who is also the co-chairperson of the Provincial Women's Commission, the pageant search is a first of its kind as it highlights women empowerment, among others. After the Quiz B Challenge, a one-minute video expressing the aspirants' advocacy will be uploaded on its Facebook page, AAA Renaissance Cebuana, for online voting starting July 1. The search for the first AAA Renaissance Cebuana is a project of provincial government through PwC and the Cebu Provincial Sports Commission, together with the Cebu Chamber of Commerce and Industry and Nankai Development Corporation. More than 400 buroks in the city of Naga Cebu has been granted 1.5 million pesos in financial assistance by the Cebu Provincial Board following the Council's regular out-of-town session held in the said city last Monday, June 25. The assistance was given to the city government of Naga to help support the operation and activities of the city's burok system program. In 2017, Governor Hilario P. Davide III pushed for the institutionalization of burok system that will empower Cebuanos through consultations and formulations of projects, programs, and activities. Davide said the Porox system is an effective sounding board for government officials to know the needs of the people, especially in the grassroots level. The governor also added that the system has proved its usefulness during times of emergencies. Through the Porox system's database, household members can be tapped for effective delivery of capital programs for disaster, livelihood, and health. Naga City's Council Secretary, Gary Kaputahe, said the 488 Porox of the city's 28 barangays are gearing up activities that would help mobilize support for the city's programs. Among the activities include first aid training and disaster risk and reduction management. The Barok also has weekly cleanup drives, maintenance of beautification of their respective areas, tree planting activities, and livelihood programs for soap making and the participation in the city's activities. 
Cebu Provincial Detention and Rehabilitation Center CPDRC Jail Warden Reynaldo Valmoria on Monday said he is positioned to request Governor Hilario P. Davide III to temporarily suspend acceptance of new detainees in the facility since the center's population has exceeded more than twice its intended capacity. Valmoria said that CPDRC now has more than 3,900 prisoners but then its intended capacity is only at 1,500 inmates that should be equally positioned in 100 prison cells. Each cell is intended for 12 to 16 persons. However, with the number of inmates going in each month, they were forced to place 30 detainees in single cell. Valmoria said the move to temporarily suspend the acceptance of new detainees has been implemented in previous years. In 2013, 2016, and 2017, the CPDRC was able to enforce policy to decongest the facility. Some officials of Cebu province have agreed to transfer some inmates under the Bureau of Jail Management or BJMP of the local government units where detainees reside. In fact, Valmoria said they already got approval from the court to transfer 57 prisoners to BJMP Medellin but was not able to push through due to construction works by the LGU. Once their new request gets approval from Governor Davide, who is currently on leave, Valmoria said he will enforce internal cleansing that would refine that internal jail system that includes a holistic rehabilitation program.